So in this video, I'm revealing the nine income streams that I literally built by the age of 27 that do over seven figures a year intro. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that Soul Spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so check it out now. Okay guys, so this is unlike any like YouTube, oh look how many streams of income that I have because they're, they're kind of like all kind of the same. What I thought would be even more valuable was to kind of like share with you a big failure that happened in my life. They got me to the point where I literally built not just nine income streams at 27, but in 12 months from a very, very big setback. Now, here's the reason why. Because when you see all these videos on YouTube, like literally type them in. If you literally type in how I built streams of income, you literally see all of these videos go crazy. Seven million views, one million views, 138,000 views, 258,000 views, 300,000 views. A lot of people see this and intentionally they think, oh, in order to become wealthy and successful and rich, I just need to have a bunch of things and chase a bunch of things. And let me tell you, that is the furthest from the case. The reason why is because when I literally went, from zero to $1.6 million that first year in one of my successful businesses with about 30% profit margins. I literally took the money that was in there and I was like, oh, I just need more income streams. So just like that, I took my thumb off the pulse of what was working to just chase a bunch of these things that were now average and mediocre. And because of that, my income literally went from like really, really big to very, very small, but I had multiple income streams, right? And that, that had like the sex appeal to it, right? But little did I know that when you try catching two rabbits, you catch none, right? And the best way to create multiple streams of passive income is to actually focus on one and accidentally build the other ones, right? So what I wanna talk about is literally the aftermath of what happened, losing a bunch of money, and then rebuilding it back to where it's at right now, where now we do like seven figures plus a year um, with all of the streams combined, because I focused, instead of multiple things, instead of one thing. And especially if you're like someone new and you see all these things, like I said, it gives you the wrong impression. You think, oh, they're wealthy because they have so many different streams. But if you really look closely in one of these videos or any one of these videos, most of their streams of income, the biggest amount come from one of those streams, right? And if you really understand that, you gotta understand, like, would you rather want one business with the simplicity of just one thing to make, I don't know, like a million dollars a year, or would you rather have like a hundred businesses doing like a grand a month, right? That's just, you know, overwhelmingly complicated. And I, I found the more simple that you get in your business, the easier that it is. So I wanna break down exactly how I got to where I'm at right now, right? So about last year, bad things happen, right? Obviously, like a lot of business deals went through, a lot of things that I thought I was gonna make a lot of money on just ended up failing, like a lot of you guys can maybe relate. And I was just kind of like whooped, right? Like, you know, just beaten by the universe and the world and business and I was just like hating on myself. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and build this again, uh, but I'm gonna do it in a way that's now like indestructible. Instead of building a business that is only okay for a couple of months, I wanna build a business that just gets better every single year and builds multiple streams of income on top of it. But I knew to get there, I needed to focus on one thing at a time. I can't focus on nine streams of income right away. I need to focus on one. And like I said, when I like did the opposite way and I took all the money that I made and tried getting nine income streams right away, they were all mediocre and they all took away my focus elsewhere and they all just ended up dying, right? So now going back, I was like, okay, after making that stupid mistake, which no, most people won't tell you their mistakes when they're chasing multiple streams of passive income, I was like, okay, I need to go back to you know the basics. I just gotta focus on one. So I kid you not, in the beginning of this year, I was like, okay, what's something that I'm good at that I could get good at, right? And it was YouTube. My YouTube completely died. I think I was making like $7 a day for my YouTube and it was just like very hurtful because I was just like, dude, my YouTube was big, now it's small and now I suck at life. That's literally what I thought and I'm a failure and I'm stupid and everyone thinks I'm stupid. So I'm not just gonna make YouTube videos. But I was like, okay, well it's no risk to make a YouTube video. Um, it's no risk to go ahead and record. And even if I sound like an idiot, it's fine. If I overcome that, I also grow as a person. So that was like a good thing. So what I ended up doing was I remember making one YouTube video or three YouTube videos every single day and everyone thought I was freaking crazy. They're like, are you serious? You literally just click record, just talk a lot and then something ends up happening. And something ended up did happening because from that YouTube video, we send it to, for example, a training which is an affiliate marketing program where we recommend someone else's product, right? And if someone literally buys, I would get commission from it. So I remember the first month that I ended up doing this, we literally pulled in 
about like 10 grand from one stream of income, okay? From just a free traffic source that I literally made YouTube videos on to you know a product that's not my own. It's affiliate marketing, right? So the moment I started making money and literally got this to the point where it was 10K a month um, because I couldn't depend on the AdSense because you know my AdSense was only like $7 a month, right? I literally kept on doing that, right? Until it got to 10K per month. Now, I have the ability to build a new stream of income. But what happened with here, one of the biggest pain points is I made a bunch of money and then I took that money and like invested in, in a bunch of businesses that were not my zone of genius, right? Like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger say, you want to pick your spots of genius and stick in those spots. Don't venture out because it'll be really hard. And I learned that mistake the hard way when I went and left this business, right? So instead I was like, okay, now that I make money, how can I go and double down on this thing that I'm already really good at, but also grow an income that has less risk to me? So I was like, okay, if I'm making YouTube videos to, to like a product that I recommend, what if I do YouTube ads? But I don't wanna do YouTube ads, right? Cause I need to, I can only focus on one thing. My biggest mistake when I focus on so many different things is I, my, my attention was just all over the place and I couldn't build one thing big because I just focused on too many things, right? And if you really think about it, that's exactly what I did. I took that money, hired someone to then run YouTube ads for me to the exact same product. Now, even though this was one stream of income, right? This became the second stream of income, but it simplified the filming because the product is still the same. It's just a new stream of eyeballs, right? So this was one and this was two, right? And then guess what happened? That started profiting. So guess what I did with that? I ended up hiring somebody to then run Facebook ads. But like I said, instead of going to a different business, I, I'm like thinking, how can I build multiple streams of income in my specific business? And that person went and brought it to the exact same thing, then now that's like the third stream of income. And you can see where I'm going from that. I literally took that money from there. I hired someone to literally essentially build my blog because I understood this. Nerdwallet is a blog and they literally do about a hundred million dollars a year. And I realized that this I think would be the ultimate form of like income. It just takes like money to build a blog to this level. You need to hire a bunch of people, freelance writers, uh, editors and stuff like that. And I knew that this was in my zone of genius. So I was like, I knew that my end all be all goal when people ask like, oh, if you had a bunch of money, where would you invest it in? I would just throw it in my blog because you know, you don't see like things like this in the YouTube space, a hundred million dollars a year for products that they don't rec actually create. All of this is affiliate marketing that they go ahead and use. So it's like, okay, I really need to build my blog, right? So then all that money that I make in here literally goes to Google because that's literally where they go ahead and you know, send them to the exact same product. So look at this, one, two, three, four. And as you can see, that's literally what we're doing right here. And the coolest thing about this is I can make three videos a day. I can't make more than that. That is literally my limit. But with a blog, I can get to the point where I'm making like 10 or 20 articles a day, right? So it's literally like similar like a content, but if I literally bring them to, for example, the exact same thing, then I can essentially make all of these irre irrelevant for me, right? And that's I think the goal for success is you wanna find a way to simplify it. And as years go by, these just get harder and harder and harder. But I know if I could create a moat around myself, which is what like, for example, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger talk about all the time, I could literally become indestructible without actually having to create as much content as I do. So then I funnel it onto that and now that's bringing me another stream of income. And then from there, because Google takes like two to three years to rank sometimes, I notice that these people make 67 grand a month and this person makes 100 grand a month from their blog, but they don't use Google, they use Pinterest. So then I literally took the money that I made, hired people to go ahead and build my Pinterest and now we get 87,000 monthly views to my Pinterest, all going, guess what, back to the exact same thing. So now that's Pinterest and check that out. Now look how much more simple that is. Before I took the money and I put it in so many different business ideas, right? But now every single time that I make money and I build another stream of income, I send it back to the exact same business model that I'm already proven to make money with. Look at this, that's one, two, three, four. Five, just like that. Now you're probably wondering where the sixth one is coming in. So the moment I do that, what happens is I get a bunch of emails. And when I get a bunch of emails, I can literally go ahead and send emails out to a bunch of people and check this out. Like me talking about like why I've been eating in 48 hours, I won the Squid Games, how to build 100 million per year biz with no product, you're either an F yes or an F no. And in this, I'm literally just kind of like sharing the lessons of what I'm already going through in my day-to-day -day life, right? But in there, I also maybe recommend books 
or other programs or other resources in which I would get compensated if someone goes to, for example, Amazon and purchases something that I recommend. So my email list literally becomes a sixth one. So my email list. Now you're probably wondering, okay, well, what's the seventh one? When I literally did all of this, remember focusing on one thing, guess what ended up happening? My YouTube income actually ended up skyrocketing to the point where you could see this is literally the deposit that Google sends me into my bank account every single month. 35 grand to 46 grand. And remember, I started in the beginning of this year. And within five months, something that I did not focus on, that I did not think was possible for me, right, ended up literally creating a huge amount of side income, which most of it was actually profit. Now, this, my friends, is the seventh. So, AdSense, right? That would be the seventh. Now, here's the problem with most people. When people see like these videos, they're like, oh my God, I just gotta go and chase all of these things. But they're literally going out and they don't actually work together to fuel each other. Most people focus on this too much, right? But that was literally the least of my worries because I know that I didn't wanna be dependent on this. My ultimate goal is actually, if I could only just pick one, to literally rank on Google because I mean, I, I don't see anyone else that has made as big of an affiliate marketing business as NerdWallet does, but I know that it's gonna take money and team members and things to go ahead and do that. So literally my nine streams of income that I have right now is for the sole purpose of funneling to this. Because ultimately what I actually want is to go from nine streams of income to one really, really, really big one and taking all of that money and just throwing it into like index funds and maybe property, right? And that ultimately is my ultimate goal of where I'm going. But I just wanna go ahead and share with you this because sometimes the videos that you see right here doesn't actually always have the sex appeal that you think you would actually want. And sometimes the secret of building a really big business is just focusing on one thing, taking that money from that one thing and hiring people where their one thing is this. So one person deals with this, one person deals with this, one person deals with this, one person deals with this. This literally come, came on accident and one person is dealing on this, right? So everyone can literally focus on their one thing, but they all go in kind of fuel back to, I guess, my financial well-being. Does that make sense? And if you wanna get good at your one thing, and you wanna find out what the one thing was for these people, like Dino, who at 47 years old, went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, or Ilio as an immigrant who made 100 grand in two months, or Greg at age 58 years old, went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, or Francisco, who lives in Chile, where the average income is $500 a month, went from zero to 30 grand a month as well. Sign up for this week's free workshop below because it's literally the fastest and easiest way to actually learn a skill to actually get there, as well as check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully it helps. Love you guys, see you guys later. Woo!